Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back to Agri Adventures. We are on Radio Italiano Adelaide, and today we are in this beautiful location that is McLarenville with Ben Paxton. Me, it's Simone Berliat. Uh, as you know, I work in hospitality and I'm following this development of the project Agri Adventures. Uh, ben is owner, I believe. Of family. Family, so this family is owning uh, Paxton uh, Winery, Paxton Vineyard. That's right. Okay, how long have you been living over here? Uh, I grew up here and my father spent most of his life in this area from I think about the age of three. Wow, so I can say that you are uh, you almost a native Australian. <laughs> uh, nearly a local, <laughs> like yes. If you, if you get a bit more sun, you're going to be <laughs> really local. About that. Okay, so one of the things that make me came over here in, in Paxton uh, uh, Vineyard uh, was that you work in a um, biodynamic regime. Grape growing started in 79. First conversion 2004 okay, to biodynamics. So 2000, okay, 2004. Yeah, and then all of our own vineyards, the rest of our own vineyards, we have six properties. Um, the other five were converted in 2005. Okay. Um, and the results we were seeing immediately is the soil health. So our biggest focus is on soil health. If you have a healthy soil, you've got a better chance of having a healthy grapevine producing better flavoured fruit. That's simple as that. That's simple. So we, with biodynamics, uh, we apply composts and preparations to increase that life in the soil, whether it's microbial, fungal, insects, worms, all the goodies. You want all of them there. It's not eradicating one, it's creating natural balance by having them all working. Absolutely. And if, if they break down the rotting vegetable matter from the diverse range of plants growing on the surface under the vines, uh, then all those uh, microbes and whatever in the soil, they break the plant matter down, turn it into humus, uh, and make the uh, all the nutrients, uh, they can convert them into plant available forms and they do that with minerals as well uh, so the vine can take what it needs when it wants rather than applying a say a salt based fertilizer that it, it's forced nitrogen through osmosis um, which is scientifically outstanding but it knocks off a lot of the bugs and the vine grows quickly and is more disease susceptible because the cell walls are thinner so you were speaking about uh, and we're moving in that uh, something interesting that you, we are going to organize together or maybe you're organizing and just going to place on the market for you uh, which is uh, you said how uh, the customer they, they they are starting to grasp a little bit about biodynamic is that yes, correct yes yeah absolutely and uh, so when i came over here and you spoke with me about the idea to organize a biodynamic tour and where you were able to uh, to showcase the differences in in the mean of a testing, also showcasing where the vines are, what the process behind, all these kind of things. I, I thought it was great. Um, one of the advantages we have that we we don't really capitalise on here is we do a lot of the um, we make we grow the herbs and make preparations here. Uh, we've got a vineyard right out the back uh, where we can show people. Uh, the vines, the soil, uh, some of the biodynamic preparations that uh, people may or may not have heard about, uh, how they're made, what they look like, what they smell like, and explain the benefits of them. Mm. Uh, and then we can go through to the wine and the winemaking, uh, explaining uh, pretty much the Paxton point of view of biodynamics. Cool, cool. I'm, I'm going to be one of your first customers, I'm for sure. Excellent. Coming over. Okay, so it was a pleasure to speak with you, Ben, and uh, thank you for telling us about you know, the experience and uh, all the ideas and everything behind. And um, thank you for the people following us on the YouTube channel and uh, on the Facebook page. So thank you very much from everyone who following us on Agri Adventures on Radio Italia Uno Delaide, and see you the next time.
Thanks, Simone. Thank you.